Right, okay, we're on question three. Um, the constraints of a linear programming problem are represented in the graph below. The P4 region is the unshaped region, including, including its boundaries. The vertices of the P4 region are, oh, look at this, they've given us the vertices. Oh, really kind. Are, are there. The objective is to maximize P, which is x plus 3y. Find the coordinates of the optimum vertex and the corresponding value of P. Right, so we're just going to have to sub these numbers into that equation, aren't we? Uh, part 1, P is x plus 3y, let's work them all out. A is 3.52, so P is 3.5 plus 6, which I make to be 9.5. Maths. B is 1.53, so P is 1.5 plus 9, which is 10.5. Oh, that's better. C is 0.5, 1.5. So P is 0.5 plus 3 times 1.5, which is 4.5, which is 5. And D is 1, 0.5. So P is 1 plus 1, which is 2. And we're looking for the best. The best is the 10.5. So the maximum is... 10.5 at B, which is 1.53. There we go. That is the most thorough answer to that question that you will see today. Uh, part 2. Find the optimum point if X and Y must both have integer values. Okay. So we, we've got to consider we're, the, the, the maximum point was at B, which was there. We've got to consider integer values near that point. Um, the graph that you see is a little bit better than the one that appears on the screen because it doesn't copy terribly well. But the graph in here, it would appear that we could have integer values. Well, where, where are they? We could have the point 1, 2. We could have the point 2, 2. Uh, we could have the point 3, 2. They appear to be the point is that. That, um, that's not at an integer value, is it? That's at 1.5. So it needs to be along the line 2, and we could have uh, 1, 2, or 3 as our values for 1. So let's, uh, let's check these out well. Um, we could, if we're, we don't really need to, to think too much about this, do we? The point 1, 2 is definitely not going to give us the best value of P, because um, P gives us. 1 plus 6, which is 7. And the point 2, 2, P is 2 plus 6, which is 8. And the point 3, 2, P is 3 plus 6, which is 9. It's definitely that point, isn't it? It's, it's clearly the point 3, 2. I, I probably didn't need to do anything like that amount of working out to get it. But there we go, that's the best integer value. Um, then, the objective is changed. The question says the objective is changed to maximise P, which is K, now X plus K times Y. Right. Um, if K is positive, explain why the optimum point uh, can't be C or D. Um, so, well, we, we've got to think about the, the coordinates of these points. If k is positive, then if the x and y values of a and b, both x and y values of a and b, are bigger than the respective x and y value of c and d. So if both the coefficients are positive, then it must give a bigger value of p. Does that make sense? So, so what we're going to say for that is that um, at A and B, both X and Y coordinates are greater than they are uh, 
at C and D. Therefore, if the coefficients of the of x and y in the p equation, if uh, are positive, then A and B must give bigger values than C and D. They must, the maximum must be either A and B. Okay, what they were looking for, just, just kind of checking out what the maths team says for that, they were looking for each of the points A and B have larger values of both X and Y. That's what they wanted. Or some description about a slope line. We haven't got into that, but we could have some description about uh, the fact that if K is a positive number, then uh, the slope line, if we rearrange this, it must have a negative gradient and therefore um, yeah, you can relate that to it being A or B. Uh, right, if K can take any value, find the range of values for K for which A is the optimum point. So, um, I did quite a lot of working out this one. You, did, you were given a full page for this, remember? Uh, so what we're now saying, if K can take any value, find the range of values for which A is the optimum point. Well, uh, what we've got is that uh, at A, P is 3.5 plus 2K. This is how I started this out. At B, P is 1.5 plus 3K. At C, P is 0.5 plus 1.5K. And at D, P is 1 plus 0.5K. Those are the expressions for my uh, value of P at each of the vertices uh, under the new equation a, uh, x plus ky. So, um, we want a to be the maximum, a to be the optimum point. So if a is the maximum, then, well, let's consider that, then a must be the greatest out of all of these. Uh, it's a tiny, it's a minor point, but if a is the maximum point, as opposed to um, you know, it is possible, isn't it, that, that the maximum, A would be the maximum, but all of that line would be the maximum, in which case A is still optimum, but it's not the maximum point uniquely, it's just part of the maximum set of values. If A is uniquely maximum, then this equation must be greater than all of the other three in turn. So let's work out what's going on with that. It must be that... A, 3.5 plus 2K, is greater than B, uh, 1.5 plus 3K. That must be true. If we rearrange that, what have we got? Uh, 2 is greater than K. K is less than 2, we get from that. That's comparing A and B. But it must also be true that A is greater than C. That must be true as well. If we rearrange that one, we've got 0.5k is greater than, I don't know, what's it say, minus 3. So k is, uh, what am I doing now? I'm changing this round. So k, and no, I'm not, is uh, greater than minus 6. There we go, that's right, isn't it? And so that was C. And it's also true that the expression for A is greater than the expression at D. That one must be true as well. And that gives me that 1.5k is greater than minus 2.5. And if I rearrange that one, I get k is greater than uh, minus 5 thirds. That works out to be. So these are my conditions. If A is to be the optimum point, uniquely the optimum point, all three of these conditions must all be true at the same time. Well, uh, this one clearly says that K has to be less than 2. That one stands on its own. 
k has to be less than 2. If you look at these two conditions, we've got to take the more restrictive one, haven't we? k is going to be greater than minus 6, but actually k is going to be greater than minus 5 over 3. So we have to end up saying that k is greater than minus 5 over 3, and that's the region that we want for our answer. Okay, took a bit of working out for only four marks, didn't it? That's, that's how I work my way through that. Right, oh yeah, and that's maths.